back. Welcome, everyone. To it has been quite a bit of time since our last upload. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, shit sucks. Life has been great. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, tell me about it. Tell me about that. Well, there was this one time when I went outside and um, mm. I got abducted by aliens. Does this have to do with that lady you saw in your bedroom that one night? Who is standing over your bed? Who looked like the grudge? Must we come back to this? Did we ever talk about this? I don't think so. Hmm. We have to talk about our own creepy experiences we've had. Oh. That'll be its own episode one day. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all stay tuned to this one. This one's gonna be a, another cryptic episode I wrote. Yeah, we're back to cryptids, cause it do be that spooky time, though. Yeah, it do be. And we'll try to bring out more spooky episodes for the rest of this uh, <clears throat> spooky season. Probably do a creepy pasta one at some point, just cause we haven't done one of those in a while. True. In case you all forgotten, my name is Gabriel. Brandon. And over here we have Crowley, our kitty, and Bowser, too. Bowser got injured, sadly. But he's okay. He's doing better. Yeah, so if you hear any kitty noises, it's because we got cats all up in here. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, now today we have cryptids. Gabe wrote a little script about a couple of different odd cryptids. Mm-hmm. Well, it'll be fun to throw that in there, so uh, let's, just, let's just fuck it. It's funny how many of them have man at the end of them. That's true. I realize. Like, yeah. Hmm. There's more than one, which is funny. Mothman. Uh, well, I wanted to include him into this, but he is so well known. I'm like, no, I'll dedicate this one to mostly weird ones. Yeah. That would look weird, not even terrifying. If you saw one, you'd be like, the fuck are you? <laughs> the fuck? I think there's one in there that I think would elicit more than a, the fuck are you. Yeah, true. No, we'll do Mothman in his own at some point. Mm-hmm. All right. So this first one I have written down is the the Loveland Frogman. Yeah. From Ohio. Ohio Frogman. Don't know if Ohio exists yet, but we'll find out. Why the fuck do you exist? If anyone's from Ohio, if you've seen Frogman, let us know. Yeah, you saw any, cool. some Kermits walking around. Uh, that'd be funny. What the fuck are uh, you looking at? The Ohio Love Loveland Frogs, otherwise known as the Loveland Lizardmen, are some <laughs> of the strangest cryptids in America. Yeah, they also refer to as Lizardmen. That's a that's a jump. I know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> are you a frog or are you a lizard? Yeah, Lizardman is because of another sighting that was reported, and I'll get to it here soon too. <laughs> They're some of the strangest cryptics in America to exist. They're described as a uh, big humanoid frogs that are four feet long. Some say the they look like regular frogs that are that just have a extra leathery skin, and they'll just stand on their hind legs as well whenever they're walking. That's terrifying. They can be on all four if they want to, but most of the time you see them walking, just walking down, getting a fucking sandwich. Ooh, giant frog. Giant frog. The first reported sighting of the Loveland Frogs was by a businessman that was, that was driving during door-to-door sales. Hmm. The date was somewhere around 1955, around the month of May, some would say. He was driving down an unnamed road late at night. As he was driving, his headlights spotted something far out, but he could not. He was not close enough yet to make it out. As he got close, though, he hit his brakes. Because he did not want to hit what he had what he had just seen. He spotted three to four frogmen that were three to four feet long. They were all on the hind legs as they were crossing the road. But one with some reports saying that one of them even was holding a wand. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Fucking wizards, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, a fucking straight up Avada Kedavra, some bitch. Even funny is that apparently the one with the wand. It was shooting, like, sparks out of it. I'm a wizard now! I guess he was guiding the other frogs? I don't know. Follow the sparks! Another reported sighting was by a policeman, a police named Ray Sharky. Sharky? Sharky. Sharky? Sharky. Don't tase me, bro. (laughs) Oh, man. 
Hey, they caught in the shock you for nothing. Yeah, call, they call the me uh, the scene. Oh, that kind of shock. Mm. I thought he was just abusing the shit out of his taser. <laughs> no, did they have tasers back then? That's a good question. I actually don't know. No. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I guess it was just a good old nightstick. Ah, uh, stop resisting. <laughs> Stop resisting! This giant frog isn't working. I don't think he's alive anymore. He kills the frogs. It was March 3rd, 1972 at 1 a.m. He was driving on the Riverside Road by the Toad's Booth Factory, a natural place. The Toad's Booth Factory? Yeah. Toad's. Oh. Toad's. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but yeah. They make actual boots, walking boots and whatnot. I looked it up. Uh, he said Toad's boots. No, not Toad's. I was like, that's a T O T E S. Oh. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah. He was driving by when his headlights uh, hit an unknown creature that was on all fours. Oh, no, he hit one. Almost, but no, he stopped. He realized it was an unknown creature that was on all fours. He realized it was a Bigfoot. It was a big frog, not bad, not <laughs> Bigfoot. A... I fucking mind read that wrong. It was a big frog that looked to be about 3 to 4 feet long and to be around 50 to 75 pounds of some of you, 25 to 35 kilograms. Then it stood up on its hind legs, went over the guardrail, and went back into the river. It just got up, walked, or waddled, I don't know how those things would walk. Police brutality! <laughs> He just hop over the fucking guardrail, just went on his merry way. <laughs> like motherfucker, you ain't gonna believe this. I, I I hit a giant frog. A second report was from another officer. He was driving along when he saw something on the road he did not recognize. He got out of his car and shot the creature and killed it. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, did you say this was a cop? Yeah. Okay, well that checks out. <laughs> What is that? I'll say that'd be most Americans, though. God. He's the ones that have guns. Imagine if it was just a child. And the fuck is that? Honor, it was dark. He was wearing a green suit. Well, you are a police officer, so come over here so I can slap your wrist. Once he shot and put it in his trunk, he yeah, put it in his trunk. He wouldn't go show off his shocky. 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 <laughs> you get that? <laughs> Definitely gonna find this even more dumber at the end. <laughs> he put it in his trunk. <laughs> oh my god. Once he saw it, once um, he took it off to Shocky, Shocky, he realized what it was though. It was not the Loveland Frogman. What was it? It was an iguana. <laughs> it's tail. It's a big one. It was 3 feet to 3.5 feet or 0. 0.9 to 1.1 1. 1 meters long. <laughs> the officer did not recognize it because it was missing its tail. <laughs> that was the last report of sighting as of as a frogman. <laughs> How do you confuse an iguana? I guess the man's never seen an iguana before. I don't know. I don't think this man should be a cop. I mean, it's the fucking 50s. Probably not the boat. Probably not a whole lot of lizard and exotic creatures in that area. Especially oh in Ohio. Oh my god. <laughs> but he picked it up! Yeah. When you hold. Iguana is just a big lizard. We know what, how do you not know what a lizard is? Hmm. I guess they did it. He must have been drunk off his ass. Or oh, just not that well educated. When it comes to uh, creatures, both plausible. What was so funny though? <laughs> what? As of 2013, the frogman has become Ohio's uh, official mascot. <laughs> well, it's gotta have something. Yep, it goes on in parades and whatnot from time to time. I guess Kermit's always welcome in Ohio. <laughs> it is funny. Oh my god! And that was uh, the tales of the Loveman, Loveland frogman. Yes, the, okay, the lizard man. It should be called the lizard man. It's only the lizard man because that dumbass of a fucking cop confused an iguana yeah. with a frog. <laughs> no. 
They don't look anything alike. I think it's when I was researching this, and I um, decided to go on the Wikipedia to see what else I'm say. On the side, it had two pictures. One of what is the description of Officer Shockey, uh, which looks like a giant frog on his hind legs. Right. Second one was just of a regular iguana. Though, in the caption read, this is probably what the officer saw, just without his tail. I'm like, yeah, iguanas like that can get pretty big. They're like the sea iguanas or whatever. I know how you call them. These pictures. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> it's an iguana! It looks nothing like a frog! Any of y'all, I'm sure most of y'all know what an iguana looks like. I don't know if you would convince, if you would uh, be confused about seeing one without his tail. But hey, that man was. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. There was a reporter that was in a write an account on that officer, on that officer's sighting, but once he realized that, oh, it was already uh, disproven and it was not real, was, he's like, eh, never mind. I'm not gonna put it in the book. Yeah, let's not, let's not write about how this officer shot an iguana. <laughs> He probably thought it was someone's pet that had escaped or something. Or maybe something like that, so yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, what do you got next for me, blah? This next one is from, comes from Michigan. Michigan? Don't know if you're any of y'all from Michigan, but if you do, you might know this one. If you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what the fuck's even in Michigan. What is in Michigan? I have no idea. Is there anything in Michigan? Oh, because there were only like about three to four states away from it. I don't know. Probably just mountain area. For those of you who live in Michigan, what's in Michigan? <laughs> Benny's a nine-hour drive-ish, more or less. Nine hours? I'm not driving nine hours. <laughs> you come to me. I don't think they want to. Well, that's insulting. Fuck you. All right, what's in Michigan, boy? He is the dog. <laughs> the bounty dog. No. <laughs> dog, man. Oh, God. Are we sure these aren't just werewolves? Yeah, because this one is described a bit differently. They can be considered like a type of werewolf. Kind of like there's different types, like in the Harry Potter universe. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, so it could be just a subspecies or a subbreed, I don't know. Subbreed. The Michigan Dogman is a, is a creature that is described to be uh, seven foot tall. With the having blue eyes or amber eyes as well, Ooh. with the with the dog's head in a human's body, it's said to have the howl that's equal to a human scream. Ah! Yeah, basically, if you hear blood curdling screams, that could be a dog, man. So, the head of a dog, body of a human. Is it like? Straight up body of a human, or does it have like fur and claws? From what the uh, reports I've read, and what little we there's a surprising little bit of artwork, it looks to be like head dog, body more or less human, but it has like uh, claws and whatnot. Okay. Uh, still, I was gonna say if it was just like shot for shot human body I feel like that'd be even more terrifying just naked ass human body with just a fucking Doberman head oh yeah that would be terrifying as fuck <laughs> like, like nope I oh. need to uh, too much drugs too much drugs I'm, I'm mushing according to legends the Michigan Dogman is said to come out of hiding every 10 year cycle that that ends in a 7 87 97 2007, 2007. So we got, what, another four years before Dogman comes back? To both of me. <clears throat> so, give it a hell. Right. 2027. Yeah, if we're still doing the... I mean, I bet it'll still be doing this in four years, right? Hopefully. That'd be nice. I, I hope so, right? Hopefully it'll be even bigger. Yeah, come on. Come on now. Let's let's get this shit rolling. Yeah, if the we're... 2027. One for the Michigan Dogman. Oh, He'll be our next president. How old are we? We're gonna be, like, almost 40. No, I think we're being on on our early thirties still. Well, no, that's oh wait, no, never mind. I was I was putting ten for some reason. You know, it's literally four years from like now. Four years from now. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I was <laughs> thinking ten. I was like, oh god. You, you're thinking too old, man. I'm thinking, thinking too old. Too old. Instructions unclear. Age too fast. Oof. The first reported sighting of the dog man was by 
And granted, this sighting isn't a ledge sighting. Because they're the only two that saw it, and back then, lumberjacks would tell stories, either as just a way to pass time, or to haze in newbies that would come through and want to be lumberjacks, and they would just haze in of sorts to see if they could cut it out to be as a lumber lumberjack. Allegedly, allegedly. He was spotted by two lumberjacks in the year of 1988, which is weird that it does not end in the 7th. Uh, excuse me? But I guess, um, I don't know. Huh. Doesn't check out. I know, Doesn't right? check out. What, are you late, dog man? Do you oversleep? Probably. ruh ro. <laughs> They said that they saw a creature that had the head of a dog and the body of a human. It is said that the that it stalks the areas around the Manistee River since the days of when the Odawa tribe lived in the area. So even back since before when Greek Columbus and all that, when the natives were still here in that area. Hmm. I wonder if they have any, like, dogman myths. I was trying to check, but I can't find anything about it. I'll have to look again. It can be kind of hard to look up some of that stuff, I've noticed. Yeah. Especially if there isn't any actual written record and it's just all history. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's all hard to come by at that point. That do be true. That'd be something we should look into. In 1938, in Paris, again, another year, does the name seven? Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just a, uh, it's a seven, but it goes on to a bit after that. Um, yeah, well, does he come out, like, December 13th? <laughs> like, oh, shit, this was not enough time to end this in the year. Yeah, probably. Wait, did you say Paris? Yeah, Paris, Michigan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Paris in Michigan. <laughs> what? I know, right? If we name our town Paris, they'll come here thinking they're going to Paris. I mean, there is a Moscow in Russia, in Idaho. I thought I thought you were at Paris. I'm like, yo, wait, why is he in fucking Paris? No, no. He's no, over no, there with a little fucking say. bonnet hat on. Just, <laughs> yeah, I'm on vacation. Just sipping tea, eating baguettes. I love me some snails on vacation. In 1938 in Paris, Michigan, a man named Robert Fortney was attacked by five dogs. He said one of them uh, walked on two legs. Do you imagine as he was getting eaten, he like, oh shit, that one's walking. So the dog man just recruited a bunch of regular dogs like, hey, I guess I'll go kill some humans with me, guys. I mean, they didn't kill him, but yeah. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go fuck them up. What kind of dogs were they, though? He doesn't say. Come on, you got, what kind of dog head? Because we're talking, there's it, so many different kinds of dogs. Most people just say it's like it's just a. Some say it's just all black fur. Some say it's different fur. So apparently, there's multiple dog men. There's not just one. There's multiple. different breeds of dog men. I guess. Is that does that mean there's like poodle dog men? Another sighting was reported in Allegan County in the 1950s, and again in 1967 around Mainstay. In the Cross Village. And in 1987, a disc jockey. You know what a disc jockey is? Y'all y'all remember what disc jockeys are? I mean, I don't think we have that young of an audience, so I'd hope so. It literally is just a full name for a DJ. Just do to play shit on the radio. That's what a DJ stands for. Disc jockey. He's jockeying those discs. Yeah, I guess so. Gotta jockey them. Actually, I mean, I don't think they use discs anymore. Mm, nah. Pretty sure it's all computerized now. Almost, but yeah. Anyways, his name was Steve Cook. He made a song called The Legend. Up until this point, he had not heard of the Dogman at all. He had no knowledge, apparently, from what he says, of the Dogman miss or any reported uh, attacks or sightings of it. He wanted to make a song for April Fool's Day. So he, he wrote a song based on that. On his pure imagination, he said. The, his uh, producers didn't think that would be a good April Fool's uh, song, but at that point it was getting too late, so they just ran with it. And the play on the air. And he played the song twice. It seemed like not many people noticed at the time, but people cared. But it wasn't until after he had finished playing and his show in that he started getting calls. And that's for the audio that I played for you earlier. 
Yeah, if we can, we'll put a little clip of the song right about here. It was 10 years later in 97 when a farmer near Buckley was found. Slumped over his plow, his heart had stopped. There were dog tracks all around. And that's all you get. No more. You bitch. So if he didn't know... How'd he come up with it? Like it sounds if if this myth was before he made the yeah. song, his song's pretty on point with most of the things in the myth. Which is kinda weird. Like two out of the three scenarios he put in that in that poem. It's supposed to be a poem, but whatever. But yeah, they all kind of align more or less with what happened. <clears throat> Methinks he might not be too truthful about not knowing. Maybe. Or maybe he just heard it, but he didn't realize it was about the dogmen. Oh, and they probably thought it was oh, just a pack of wild dogs that attacked someone. True. And true. people just left out the fact that one of them was on two legs. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that one of them was walking like a human? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I forgot to mention that. Uh, right, because I'm trying not to look like I'm crazy. I don't want to be sentimental, Santa. I'm not crazy. It is the 50s. Oh, yeah, when everyone has... What was the disease they said everyone has? Was it schizophrenia? If uh, you're Bobby, yeah. like depressed, anxious, sad, tired. Oh, schizophrenia. Woo. Let's give him a lobotomy. Ooh, lobotomy. That right, fixes everything. That's why we still do it, right? Yeah. Because right. it was the wonder cure. Right. Just yes. disassemble your brain. Through your eyes out there. We are for sure going to talk about that in the future. Oh, yeah. I still have that Bedlam Asylum episode in the works that I stopped a long time ago because it was a lot. <laughs> and I don't remember why I stopped it, but... Uh, same it, reason you stopped, stopped the Black Daughter murder for a while. Oh, yeah. I finished that one, so we'll be yeah. on the lookout for a depressing episode. Mm. Then, in July of uh, 1987... An officer of the natural resources called the called the station WTCM. He called saying that he had just come back from a from an animal attack in a re- remote cabin in the woods near Luther, Michigan. Luther, Michigan. Ooh, Luther, Michigan. He and another officer discovered claw marks and teeth marks that were seven feet high from the ground. Fuck. Yeah. That's a tall and, ass dog, man. Yep. They're usually all seven foot, apparently. Damn, boy. And the only tracks they could find around the cabin and were near the area were some large dog dog traces, um, dog tracks. Dog tracks. But only like they were standing on two feet, basically. Huh. So we got uh, we got ourselves a case of werewolves. A werewolves. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Um, what do we do in a case of werewolves? You get the silver. I don't have no silver. This is a poor ass town. Well, you blow them up. I'm sure they have dynamite. <laughs> what if we take the town and push oh, it yeah, somewhere else? Fucking battery. That uh, that fall of that year, that song of it became one of the most requested songs to play. You can even find it now on our Spotify playlist if you look up uh, The Dog Man of Michigan. It's still been 25 years, apparently. Oh, I mean, I can see that being... Like, that sounds like the kind of song you would put on like a Halloween playlist. Yeah. Just kind of... Yeah, I can see that. And they've uh, they've also made more. They've updated the song to be more modern. They added a part two to it. Speaking of dogs. Yeah, no kidding. That's just the ambience. <laughs> They had a part two called Sigma Town. Sigma Town! <laughs> Let's go! It's Surprisingly, an actual place, just not a town. He, uh... So the cook went over to the to a place he found on a, on a map, and he pointed to that place. He's like, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go there, see what's there, and write another poem. And he did. But there was nothing out there. Not a town, no nothing. It was just a random location called Sigma for some reason. Curious that the place he decided to go didn't have a town. Mm. Me thinks he killed them all. Ooh. <laughs> Is that what happened? Oh, the dogman did. Oh, the dog. And he took all the buildings away. Jesus. And the infrastructure. No. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Dogman said, you know what? Fuck this town. Let's take it over. <laughs> Made up a town called Sigma Town. And in that town, there was a small community, about 300 some people that lived there. And eventually, over, over a period of time, they were all ran out or disappeared thanks to the dogmen. There was a pack of them that supposedly emptied out the town and just ran everyone out. Oh, they all were, some of them were missing too. Yeah, you know, they kind of uh, replaced the leadership, and the next thing you know, you're going in to the grocery store, and there's a dogman line and human line. <laughs> Are you drinking from the dogman? No, you gotta drink from the human water fountain. Yeah, the human water segregation. Fa- segregation. <laughs> Damn you, dogman! <laughs> and that. Ladies and gents and everything in between is a dog, man. That just sounds like a very bad Batman. It does. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Dog, man. Oh. Dog man. Okay, cool. Cool. Throw a treat at him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking freeze Did you just throw a no, fucking either. dog either. bone at me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Team Four, so we love <laughs> Uh, the third uh, cryptic I have is a bit of a dumb cryptic. Honestly, it's really weird. Not even a cryptic anymore because this creature actually exists just in the time period of when this creature was discovered. People didn't know any better. They all assume, oh, that's a, that's a cryptic. That's not a real creature. That doesn't exist. And what the fuck is that? The fuck are these? The fuck are you? <laughs> this creature is called the Pard. The P A R D. The Pard. And the one I know. A Pard is basically a leopard, but not fully known. It was thought at the time that the leopards were sterile creatures and did not mate with themselves. And that the only way we can get a leopard or a Pard. Is if a lion made it with some some another part and got a leopard. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. They thought leopards couldn't breed? No. Why? They've never seen them do it. I'm sure there's many animals you have not seen, fuck. Are there not, like, families of leopards? Mm. They keep... What? It gets weirder and dumber, though. Oh, my God. When was this? Uh, during the late, was it, 13th, 15th century-ish era. Okay, they were pretty fucking stupid back then. Yeah, basically a medieval time period. <laughs> yeah. It is believed that the pars were the incarnation of uh, people's sins of evil. And some even would say they were... The incarnation of the Antichrist. <laughs> Why? What did the leopard do? I don't know. What? It's because they, they had a very bad um, bloodthirsty reputation. So they all assumed, oh, it's an evil creature. That creature right there. That's, that's, that's the devil incarnate. Funny enough, though. They were in the Aberdeen Bestiary. Well, they were described as gentle, peaceful creatures, and that the only enemy being the dragons. <laughs> Let that sit in. Let that sit in. <laughs> Marinate for a bit. I mean, aren't leopards one of the more, like, uh, I don't want to say tame but they're like the least one of the least uh aggressive big cats aren't they yeah they don't really try and hunt bigger prey no they hunt antelope they hunt stuff that they can catch they don't really they don't really fuck with humans unless you fuck with them yeah unless they're absolutely starving and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're not watching your back yeah, I don't know if you know what the Aubrey Dean Bestiary is, or do you? No. Basically, it's an old uh, manuscript when God made Adam and 
Adam giving the beast names and describing them. In that be in that bestiary, a part is in there. It is described as a gentle creature. This only enemy is a uh, is a dragon. Supposedly, when it goes to sleep, it releases after it's eaten and it has its full belly. It goes to sleep, keeps its mouth open, and releases a sweet scent that attracts other creatures. That's how peaceful it's supposed to be. And when it wakes up, it lets out a very a very a loud roar, but one that soothes you, but that the dragons. Fine, terrifying. Christianity, everyone. That's the one that's right. <laughs> but, by the 1750s, biologists realized that the pards <laughs> were not hybrids, but were an actual creature, the leopards. It was even funnier. What? And now, a pard in Greek means leopard. So, pard was what they called them before they found out that they're legit animals? Yeah. Yeah, this is what they call him in the manuscript. So that everyone just follow that. I think I just lost brain cells. I was not ready for that. No one is ready for the bard. <laughs> no one's <laughs> ready for the bard. Oh, just shows, goes to show how fucking stupid people were back in the day when they just assumed they didn't know any better. So they're like, oh, this is what it is then. Yes, this is a hybrid creature, which is in league with the devil. Yeah. Because, or it may not be. Or it may not be. not be. We don't know. We haven't seen them fuck. We don't know. But they do scare away dragons. As a plus. We have not seen the dragons, thanks to the leopards. Does that mean dragons are in the Bible? Yeah. Look, the fucking manuscript. Why are dragons... Ugh. Oh. I know in the Bible they do say that there is a dragon, and that dragon is more um, referred to in the end times, basically. He's the embodiment of Satan. Yeah, that's basically the part. Wow. A.K.A. the leopard. Now you know. Now you've all suffered. Woo! Oh, I think after that I'm going to have to save the squonk for another day. <laughs> You don't want to add the squonk to this. I don't think I can add the squonk after that. <laughs> the squonk uh, doesn't deserve to be after the pard. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. You should have put it before the pard. I should have, yeah. Well, you all have to hear about what the squonk is another day, I suppose. Ooh, squonk. Uh, so I guess for now, that is all. Thank you all for listening. Sorry, this has been so sporadic. Um, mm. Honestly... With the way our schedules and everything's been stacked lately, I almost want to advise that this might just be an every other week podcast for a while. It might be until we get all fucking work stuff scheduled. We fucking iron out. Because we were doing well for a while, but everything started getting all crazy, and it's been more and more difficult to get together and do this. It shouldn't be forever. Yeah. Um, but just... I mean, I don't know how many of you consistently listen every week, but for those of you that do, just expect it every other week. And if you get it every week, then there you go. You get an extra fucking episode. Um, but that is it for now. Woo! Thank you all for listening. Thank you all. Hopefully you all have a good time. Be yeah. safe and take care outside. It is a crazy wild world out there. It is. It's very windy outside right now for us. Yeah. Winter time's here. Woohoo! Um, uh, bye. Bye. SMB. Hail the Dark Lord. According to the Pard. Hail the Pard. <laughs> 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 <laughs>